Eden Kale is a dwarven city housed deep under the hailstone mountains. Though safe from the bitter cold and the hunger of giants, food and other resources are scarce in the frozen peaks. Trading with the cities to the south has always been a dangerous but necessary prospect. For centuries, the king's conclave passed on a prophecy that a star would descend from the heavens and herald the birth of a destined hero who would make the gates at Firefoot Pass safe for all. When a small meteorite crashed into the side of the mountain, the hopeful conclave searched the city and found that a child had been born that very night, Rigel Deepforge, born to a family of humble smiths. Rigel's family was given a house worthy of a noble. The strong young dwarf was groomed his entire life for his prophesied destiny, granted the best tutors who taught him the ways of speechcraft, the sciences, economics, and the sword. He was told from a young age that he was fated to do great things, and he really let it get to his head. Though he took to swordplay with great enthusiasm, in all other respects, Rigel was an inattentive student. Blind to most risks of failure, he travels the realm solving problems with the business end of a greatsword. After all, how could he lose? He's destined. Bursting with confidence, Rigel loves the idea of being a famous hero, rescuing damsels and slaying monsters. Oh, and protecting the merchant caravans, sure, but there are also giants to fight. Eventually, his travels took him to the upstart town of Melia. Creatures from all across the realm had moved here many of which were completely alien to Rigel. He marveled at the different languages, foods, clothes, songs, and other unfamiliar things. He was almost shocked to bump into something that he did recognize, a familiar company of dwarven merchants. Rigel had a cousin named Tristan, who had gone to do business in Vidoma about a month ago. He wasn't expecting to find Tristan's company here in Melia when he wasn't due to return home for at least another month. Nevertheless, he was glad to see Tristan. Except, Tristan wasn't among them. When he asked for him, the company went gloomily silent. A Mathel, who had apparently joined their group, timidly approached Rigel. They introduced themselves as Mia Salamanca, and informed Rigel that his cousin had died. Somberly, Rigel asked Mia if they knew where Tristan's body was being kept, so that he might retrieve it. It's a long-standing tradition in Edenkill that the dead be buried in the tomb of their forefathers, Nervously, Maya told him that Tristan had died heroically defending the gates of Vidoma, and was given an honorable cremation upon a traditional glass stretcher. Rigel couldn't believe his ears. He looked to the other dwarves in the group, but they acted as if this disrespect for his cousin's body wasn't a problem. Outraged, confused, and grieving, Rigel's about to learn there are things in life you cannot solve with a sword.